and on this week's edition of the Blast Newscast. Point out the conclusion of our special coverage on Appreciation Day 2013. We'll be devoting the entire newscast this week as we present this special show to all of you. Those stories and a whole lot more can be seen on this week's edition of the Blast Newscast for the week of March the 12th, 2013. And now, coming to you live this week from the Tipton County Public Library in Tipton, Indiana, our very own Blast newscast anchor, Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Chris Henry. Hello, and welcome to the Blast newscast, coming to you live again this week from the Tipton County Public Library in Tipton, Indiana. I'm Jacob Pyle. Rachel Keller has the week off. Last week, we featured part two of our coverage on Appreciation Day 2013. For those of you who don't know what Appreciation Day is, it's this one chance every year where we get to thank everybody who has either put in time or money in making Teen Blast possible. We will be devoting our entire newscast again this week as we present the conclusion of our coverage of Appreciation Day 2013. I'll be back at the end of the newscast with some final thoughts about what we've been presenting to you these past couple weeks. So without further ado, let us proceed as we present the conclusion of Appreciation Day 2013. Next, I'd like to introduce to all of you a student who gave his life to uh, the Lord at a um, Big Step Church camp two summers ago. He has been growing and maturing in the Lord ever since. He desires to use his talents to spread the good news of Jesus, which is evident in the song he wrote and is singing tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here to sing our next song for the evening, an original song he wrote entitled Don't You Worry Child. It's one of Team Blast's fine guitar pickers, Braden Booker. But I can get you through this You just have to listen And trust me I know it's hard to believe But I am here for you Don't you worry, child There's no to this earth there's more to this life Even though you may be weary Even though you may be tired There's more for you Don't you worry, child Just take one more step One step close to me All you need is faith, have that faith in me. <coughs> I know it's hard to leave, but I am here for you. Don't you worry, child, there's more to this earth. There's more to this life Even though you may be weary Even though you may be tired There's more for you Don't you worry, child Leave it all behind The 
and it actually changed not just my life, but my dad's life as well, because now we're getting money from uh, two different sources now. I feel like me coming to Team Left every Tuesday, and the experience I got from helping out in the cafe, and doing the newscast, has been like a stepping stone for me into finally getting myself this good paying job. And you know what? It is just such a blessing to be part of this family, to be part of this ministry. So always remember, if you have something that you think is difficult, you start to think, well, I'm not going to be able to do so and so because of this disability I have. Don't even think about it. If you keep believing in yourself and believing in God, it will turn out the thing that you couldn't do, you can be able to do. As it says in Romans 8.28, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. And keep this in mind as well. Even if you have a disability like I do, you know, there are no limits to what you can do in this world. Just hold your head up high, always trust in God, and it will always turn out right at the end. He can take anything, even hard times, and bring good from it if we let Him. You know what? I am pretty happy that I'm able to be to be able to do such things and be able to share the Word of God with my newscast, not just to everyone here at Team Last, of course, but to people who get on the internet and watch it. I thank God for all He has done with my life and how He changed my life the first day when I walked into Team Last. Thank you very much. Now, before we close, I'd like to take this opportunity to say a few things. First off, I'd like to thank everyone that has shared their talent in this year's show. You guys are wonderful. Next, I'd like to thank Taylor Long and her mom, Shirley, Tabitha Freyholz, Rachel Keller, Betsy Miller, and Kendra Dalton for the delicious desserts for tonight's banquet. Next, I'd like to thank Desi and Kendra Dalton for having this place have fun, grow, and learn more about our Lord. But most importantly, I'd like to thank all of you. Team Blast is an independent youth ministry. And counts on people like you all the time. You are the ones that help keep this place going strong. Everything that you see here at Team Blast, you know, the lights, the game tables, the speakers, etc., it has been purchased with donating money. Your money has even sent some of us to camp and other events where we found the Lord. You know, God has changed our lives through this ministry. And one soul saved is worth it all. So many of us here have found Christ through Team Blast. We can never thank all of you enough. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now I'm going to let our youth pastor of Team Life Ministry, Kenna Dodd, share a few words. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you, 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 Jacob. And all the kids that shared with you tonight, that was all their own words, too. We might, we might have helped them tweak it a little bit, but um, I actually learned some things tonight uh, through their testimonies or in the last week when I read their testimonies that I didn't even know before. But um, when I look out, you know, I read one time when I used to uh, be a manager in business and stuff that, like, 10% of the people do 90% of the work. And that's usually true like in churches or anywhere. And when I look at, you know, around this mom. <laughs> yeah. when, I look, when I look at you guys, you know, I, I feel like um, the people that help Team Blast are just like that. You guys are busy people. Um, you know, usually it's not just money, but your time. And I look around and I know, I mean, like all call you guys and say, can you guys help with this, or can you do this, or, or just in the nick of time, somebody gives us a check for something, or, you know, um, and I just want to, th you know, thank you guys a lot, but a couple that I want to really talk about tonight, for just a moment, is Kay and Howard. Um, some of you guys might not know them, Kay and Howard Burns here. By the way, if you didn't figure this out already by now, Des and I are the oldest youth pastors on the face of the planet. <laughs> okay. um, we're older than a lot of senior pastors, I feel like, but when we get tired and weary, which we do, um, I look at these two, and I, they've been helping us for almost five years, and they're both pushing 80. Thank and you. I don't know when I say that. I say that every time. And they come up here every Tuesday. They have gone to camp. This will be your fifth year? 
right. fifth year on uh, in a 15 passenger van this year on bus you know whatever all the way to Florida I mean amazing you know so when I get feeling tired and stuff I just look at them and think okay they can do it I can do it but anyway um, I just want to tell you guys you know how much it means that's not just how much you guys have helped with the ministry but you're our friends you know we we really covet your friendship you know and it's grown a lot in the last five years but Howard wanted to he wanted the mic. So I'm going to let him have it before I finish, or he'll beat me up because he does that. I am so proud of these young people. I have so much change in just since we got back from camp last summer in July. And, and if you would have seen their practice two weeks ago, <laughs> I have my doubts. <laughs> but I'm so proud of them. I have had them ask me, see me, and ask me, are you going to go to church too tonight? That's what they consider teen best. And so I, I'm just bursting with pride. And Dennis and Kendra, our youngest is older than they are. He just was 54 on Sunday. <laughs> so I feel kind of aging, but hard and I, when he gets tired and comes in, Oh, night you need to go to Charlottesville. Oh, you know, I said, well, we got to go. And if I'm down and don't feel like moving around and getting around and leaving, he says, let's go. So we get up here, we see these kids, and everything's going on, and we go home rested. And so it's an amazing place. I didn't have anything like this when I was a youngster. I lived out in the country, went to a country church. I didn't even go to church camp. So I guess I'm reliving my childhood when I go to big stuff at church camp. And I'm looking forward to it again this year. Probably won't be, a, won't go another year. Because it is for the youngsters, but one year, Howard and I just kind of sat back and talked to the other adults that were there, found out that they were having the same problems we were, and they were from all over. And when you see the kids in the auditorium, hear them sing, it was amazing. So I'm so glad to be able to be able to come and do this. And so thank you. Thanks for all the adults, all the people that help support Team Blast. And we want to thank Debbie and Kendra too. But anyway, I'll talk, let Howard talk. A little over five years ago, Kay and I didn't even know Des and Kinder. Uh, I had heard about a youth ministry at Sharpsville, but knew very little about it. Well, at this time, the church that Kay and I attended and attend in Tipton invited Desi and Kinder to bring some youth to a Sunday morning worship service to present a short program for the worship service. Some came and gave testimonies, some sang, some gave a skit. And Des and Kinder said a little bit about Team Bass program and its purpose. It was a very moving program that the kids put on. And the skit was right down to earth of true life. And it touched me and many, young and old, in the church there at Tipton, the meaning of it. Well, in the next three or four weeks, we got to know Desi and Kinder. They invited us to come to Sharpsville and see what was here. They were wanting adult help. Uh, we came after some very serious thoughts and prayer and have came about every week for the last five years. 
In this period of time, we have got to know this couple better. Jay and I have been asked to do things that was out of our comfort zone. But with God's help, we got it done. Um, whether it's your time or your money, everybody here has one thing in common. You guys sacrifice and you give. You know, and we know that. And we know it's a sacrifice because everybody, you know, we all work hard. All of us do. You know, we all have bills to pay. We all have things we have to do and places we have to be. But when you guys just step in and you help with your time, which, by the way, I know how precious time is. You know, it's not just money. It's time, too. And, you know, there's people all over the board here tonight that have given both. Um, but when you guys sacrifice like that, that, you know, we are coming together like a family. And just like the Bible tells us to, and we can look around and we can see tonight, you know, lives that have been changed because of it. Um, there's a bunch of kids that couldn't make it tonight because they got the flu, and everything went wrong like it always does. And we had to completely turn around our, you know, program and stuff like that. But I just want to uh, end what I want to say tonight with one story. I think I was sharing it with Kristen. As a matter of fact, one time she was over the house not too long ago. And I said, you know what, Kristen, I said, sometimes I get tired and, you know, whatever. But this one story that I heard, and I'm probably going to tell it wrong, but it always <coughs> impacts me. Because sometimes, you know, we've always ran a group of about 25 to 50 kids. And it's been like that for 50 years. But what amazes me is now we've been doing it so long. Just like last week, we had a, a guy come up that was one of the original Team Blasters and, and um, he just came up to shoot the breeze. He's got three kids of his own now. We've got some people that came when they were that age, and they have kids that come here now. I told you we were really old, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. And um, or we'll hear an email from somebody saying, "Hey, uh, I was in church today, and I and I thought about you guys, and wanted you to know that me and my family and my children are hearing about the Lord because I heard about Him at Team Blast." And, you know, it just totally amazes me. And sometimes when I get discouraged, I remember this one story that I heard. And it's a story that goes something like this. There, there was some kind of weather thing or whatever that caused <coughs> zillions of starfish to be washed up on the shore of an ocean. Zillions. And this man was walking, and he saw this little boy. And he was picking up the starfish one by one, and throwing him back in the water. And, but there were so many that you couldn't even tell where he, where he went. And the man went up to him and he was watching for a while and he was just working feverishly trying to do this. And um, the guy goes up to the little boy and he says, son, he said, what you doing? And he goes, you know, he goes listen, he goes, look out here. He goes, there's zillions of them. You'll never make a dip. He goes, you'll never make a dip. You're working all that for nothing. You know? And he goes, you know, and all of a sudden the little boy picks one up and he says, I'm making a difference to this one. And I'm making a difference to this one. And he throws it out. Amen. You guys are making a difference in people's lives with your help and need as we want to thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Jacob? I would like to thank everybody here tonight who has made um, Team Blast and this ministry possible, and really, I really appreciate it. I'm Jacob Pyle, and until next year, good night, and God bless my life. Hey, looking for something to do on a weekday afternoon? Come up and join us for Team Blast. Our address is 210 South Main Street here in Sharpsville, Indiana, 46068. Anyone 6th grade or older is welcome. We're open after school on Mondays and Wednesdays through Friday from 3 to 6. And Tuesdays from 3 to 9 with Tuesday service from 6.30 to 8.30. Come join us, won't you? Well, I hope you enjoyed this year's Appreciation Day Dessert Banquet as much as I enjoyed them seeing the show. And now, I'd like to share with you some final thoughts about this day and what it has meant to me. 
We put on the show every year to thank you, our Team Last family, for putting the time and effort into making this place of worship possible, you know? Without you, there would be no such thing as Team Blast Ministries, and our students would still be out on the streets or travel far to learn more about the Lord. And you guys have made it happen. You have to remember that the students you've seen these past couple weeks that came up on stage and shared the testimonies had lots of hard times before they came, came to the decision of becoming part of our family, you know? Some people even wanted to kill themselves or commit suicide because their lives was just too hard for them and they didn't think at first about how, about Christ or the Lord or anything like that, you know? But, anyway, like I said, as soon as they came to Team Last, they have a loving youth family that, you know, cared f for these people, you know? You make an impact on on our lives every day, you know. You know, not only as not not only me as a as a person involved with the newscast, but me as a team class student, you know. And that goes for all the other students that come up here up to team class as well. And we can never thank you enough for that. I would like to thank, again, the people at the Tiffany County Public Library for allowing us to film the newscast here again this week. And a reminder that next week, the, hopefully, we'll be able to be live at Team Blast again. And the Blast newscast will be back, returned to normal with a story on St. Patrick's Day. And with that, that will be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jacob Pyle. We would like to close this week's newscast with the praise team singing a joyful song about the Lord. And until next week, good night and God bless my friends. Some of the material shown as part of our Appreciation Day 2013 special coverage has been edited for broadcast. This is Chris Henry speaking for the Blast Newscast. This program has been pre-recorded. Forever more.